Who the hell am I kidding? That title's clickbait if I ever saw it. I couldn't sexualize a movie about a battery if I fucking tried. And on that note, cue the music. Actually, there's not gonna be any freaking sexy music. So here's the plan. We're gonna build this up so I can put it into my battery bank and put it into service and see how it goes in a real world test. Well, that completes that test. There is a little bit of accumulated heat there, as you can see from the time lapse, but you would expect that from a 30 amp, six hour load test on the battery. 
we have a total of 170 amp hours capacity in that battery. So let's get this disconnected and put it into service. With the new battery ready to install, let me show you around first what I have down here and what this is actually for. And this is what I affectionately call my battery shed. So this battery shed has been in operation now for almost three years. I've got 10 kilowatt hours of storage here and they're all 18650 batteries recovered exclusively from laptops. Now I've got about five kilowatts of solar going into the charge controller there and a charge controller here. And these two here are 4000 watt PIP inverters and they have also been going for a similar period of time. I've got a Batrium battery management system, a Watchmon 4 down there controlling my batteries and is able to be completely configured. So a quick rundown on that, we've got uh, 3.81 minimum voltage on the cells, we've got 3.97 maximum. There is a bit of a spread there and we've used 138 amp hours. Now last night we didn't have any air conditioners running, it was quite cool. Uh, but in the past two weeks we've been running air conditioners 24 hours a day, so it's really hit these batteries hard. They're going down to 10% each night and they're getting charged back up. Don't pay much attention to the spread, they need a really good balance. Just to the left over here, we have got another 3,380 cells. Again, all exclusively recovered from laptop batteries. And today I'll be planning on changing out cell four. So we've got cell one, cell 14, cell 15, and then so on through the pack. Well, it's just a really simple matter of actually disconnecting the data cables. I've already disconnected the power and then disconnecting the two lugs, top and bottom, sliding the battery out placing the new one in and reversing the process. So let's get that done. There you have it, it's installed in real time that only it took a few minutes to actually install. So I'm very happy with the process. Uh, the battery mounts do make it very, very quick to actually change it out. We can have a quick look down there, if we can see in there. That is gonna work so well, I think. Time for a long-term test. Check back in six months, 12 months, 18 months. Ask me a question, see if it's still running, see if it still works, see if I'm still happy with it. But so far, the time it takes to actually build that battery as a composed to that battery is just, it's amazing. It's wonderful. I love the difference. Okay, let's head back to the power shed and have a quick look here. So we can see that we did cell four, which is just there. And we got 43 minimum. And if we hover the mouse over, we can see we got 3.92 volts. So that battery is on par with the rest of them. I'll let this battery now balance the rest of the day so we get a nice good balance again. It hasn't had one for several months. So tubers, if you like these sorts of videos, don't forget to like, rate and subscribe as they say, and I will see you on the next one.